When you have Asperger's syndrome, I would say, at least from my perspective, a dominant feeling is that of being fragile. Now, this is not a very common feeling from what I understand other people to feel like. They don't feel fragile. I see people feeling cocky all the time, or at least acting cocky. And to me, that t seems to be the antithesis of being fragile. When you're fragile, you feel like you're going to break any second. Anything can happen at any moment. And that is a spiritual truth. So it seems like cockiness is a very bad way to approach life. If anything can happen at any moment, then being cocky is not the right way to go. It's better to be humble. Humble is the opposite of cocky. It's very important to be in touch with his perspective. Other people are in a state of illusion if they don't feel fragile, ever. Now, as recent times have shown me, there is a different side to this. And for being fragile is just part of the picture, a very big part, a very important part that many people don't see. I read bits of a book by Calvinist theologian John Piper. And he says that anxiety is a form of pride. He says it's ironic because it seems weak. He says, after all, you admit that you don't control everything. And if you have Asperger's syndrome, you see half of the picture that you don't or can't do everything and anything could happen. And for so long, I have felt that the natural response was anxiety or fear. But John Piper says the better response is faith. So you can have the feeling of being fragile, which is a very real perspective, a very truthful perspective, very insightful perspective. To make it even better is to have faith rather than fear. And that is a lesson we can learn from being in the condition of Asperger's Syndrome. Other people may never see this perspective, and they will be missing out.